Here is a test problem based on roots of equation. So we need to find condition for no real roots. The question here is, for what value of k does the equation y equals to 2x square minus kx plus 8 have no real roots, right? Now, as you remember, no real roots means that the discriminant b square minus 4ac, which normally is in that square root. Let me write down the whole square root formula first. Let me write down the whole formula, which is minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And that is the value of x. This formula gives you the roots for any quadratic equation where a, b, c are the coefficients, a is the leading coefficient, b is the coefficient for x and c is the constant. Now as you can see, if this part is called discriminant, if this part is negative inside, then square root of negative number is not real. Now if square root of this number is not real, then we don't have real roots. So the question is, for what values of k does this equation have no real roots? That means b square minus 4ac should be less than 0. It has to be negative. Only then we have no real roots. Do you see that? So that is the condition which we have to work on. Now, b square minus 4ac means b is minus k for us. So we'll put, or you can pay, put k there. It doesn't matter. When you square it, it's just square. So we write minus k, how does it matter? Whole square minus 4 times a is 2 and c is 8. That should be less than 0. That means k square minus 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 8 is 64 is less than equal to 0. So you need to solve this inequality. So that means k square is less than 64 or from here, you can say that k is, if k is square is less than 64 to make it negative, then k should be less than 8, right? k should be less than 8 and greater than minus 8. So that becomes the value for k, which will give you b square minus 4 is c as negative, right? And if b square minus 4ac is negative, then we will not have any real root. We will have imaginary roots. So that is the answer. The k is between minus 8 and plus 8. So for what values? Do you see that? For what values of k does this equation has? So what you can also do is, you can test. If you write k as some value which is, let us say, 0 itself, right? Then you have got 2x squared plus 8. Now if you try to solve it, 2x squared equals to minus 8, squared can never be negative. So that is a good test point, right? So my suggestion is, write down your answer, and this inequality here is kind of tricky. So when you have k squared less than 64, solving it, then that means k is between minus 8 and plus 8. Absolute k is less than 8, that means this. So that is how you have to see this equation, right? Absolute value of k is less than 8. So it basically means, we should write it here like, absolute value of k, when you do square root, is less than 8. And we get this answer. It's kind of very tricky. So remember that part. So this is our solution for the given equation. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Sometimes we ask this question, for what value of k, are we going to have one root or two roots? So answer that along with this. Thank you and all the best.